So what we basically are doing here is hmm, we'll be converting it to a decimal first. So let's try to give, um, I would say 70. So the way we do is we, we do the same thing like the expand strategy. So converting to, converting to decimal first. From there, you're converting to binary. I mean, no, hexadecimal. Then that's your hexadecimal. Okay, then what about hexadecimal octal? Let's get 2f. So we're going to be doing the expand, I mean, yeah, expand strategy. So same thing, we're just doing the other way. Converting to decimal, then converting to octal number. Okay, another way of trying to convert to from from octal hexadecimal is converting it from from octal to binary then a hexadecimal. Like for instance, um, let's just go with let's go with seventy. So just like before, we're going to be converting uh, to binary first. So we have a four two one again. And seven is all of them, and zero is zero here. Hexadecimal uses four digits, and since it's not four, it's only six, you can add the last two zeros to make it a four digit. And we're using eight, four, two, one this time. Then you put these on the respective slots. This is an eight and this is a three. So your hexadecimal for that for, for seventy an off number is thirty-eight as a hexadecimal. Okay now let me show you the the extended octo trick. So what do we have a three octo number? For example, four, seven, five. Okay, so let me show you the converting two decimal one first. Because I didn't get to show that for the hex decimal one. Yeah, okay, let's keep going. The expand strategy is pretty much the same. If you have a power two, so I can demonstrate it.
and that's your and that's your decimal number for your three digit octal. And same thing like this, you're gonna be having three of these. You'll be having three of these. So it's pretty much the same thing. Then you put the binary digits together. And let me try to come up with a better number this time. What about 120? Then we convert to octal. Oh, this is actually working this time. So it's your last digit, then 15 divided by 8. Then your, your remainder is first, then your product last. And that's your octal number. Well, that's all for the tutorial, so... I hope you guys enjoy, enjoy this video, and bye, and may God bless you all.